Hi, my name is Susan Gilbert and I'm with Online Promotion Success. Today we're going to show you how you can construct a slideshow in WordPress. Think about some of the beautiful images that you probably have either taken yourself or have stored and you want to showcase them in a slideshow on your WordPress site. And when we say that we're going to showcase the slideshow, it means that the images will just rotate through from one image to another very nicely while your visitor is watching it. So let's take a look at how we can do that using a plugin for uh, the slideshow. And keep in mind, anytime that you are installing a plugin in a self hosted WordPress blog, you want to make sure that you've created a backup first just in the case that something goes wrong. So let's get started. First, you want to log in to your WordPress site. And as I mentioned, we're going to be installing a plugin. We're going to use Meteor Slides. So you'll go to on the left hand side from your dashboard over to plugins and add new. And when you come up with the search box, you'll type in Meteor, M E T E O R, Meteor Slides, search plugins. And when it comes up is the first plugin on your list there. You'll want to install it. And once installed, you'll want to activate it. After you've activated your plugin on your dashboard, go to the new option slideshow, which is under comments and select settings. You will want all of your images to be the same size. Enter the size value for your images. Scroll down on the page and your code settings for WordPress are on this page. For pages and posts, you will want to highlight and select the bracketed text area, meteor underscore slide, and paste this into a text file. Before going to slideshows, be sure to save changes. In the Slides menu, go to Slideshows. Type in the name of the new slideshow in the first box. We're going to call this Lotus Flower for the name. And then the slug will be the same as the name with a dash. So Lotus Dash Flower. Scroll down and click Add New Slideshow. Go back to the Slides menu again and select Add New Slide. You will be creating a slide for each photo. Type in the name of your next slide and select the slideshow that you created earlier. Deselect any options that you have installed for WordPress, such as the Pinterest plugin. In the Mainstream Custom Settings, click the Upload button. Select the first image from your computer and delete the image link and any extra plugin settings again, like the Pinterest plugin button that shows up. Now click on Use as a featured image. Click on Use this image and publish your first slideshow image. Go to the Slides menu and select Add New for your next image. Now we are adding our next image by following exactly the same steps. And for this example, we will use three images in our slideshow. To add your final slide image, return to the Slides menu and click Add New. In our original settings, we had five maximum images selected, but you can adjust this to however many images you would like. Now that your final image has been published, you will want to go to the dashboard then to Posts and select Add New. Enter the title of your new post. Make sure that the HTML is selected in your text box, not visual. Now go to the text file and highlight and select and copy the code that we've been saving. Paste that code into the text box and click Preview to view your new slideshow. If you're satisfied, don't forget to publish. 
what you'll see in your preview is the all three images that we have added to the slideshow will rotate automatically. My name is Susan Gilbert with OnlinePromotionSuccess.com and we've just shown you how to add images to a slideshow that will rotate through some of those beautiful images that you want to showcase on your WordPress blog. Thanks for watching.